So I had a man the other day who came and visited and um, I bought some snowdrops. And these beautiful ones, they're called um, Cotswold Beauty, these snowdrops. And I've planted it next to this lovely hellebore here. Nick, you're not to dig it up. There's a bit of snake grass here as well. That's there already, the snake grass. No, 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 no. Don't dig up my new precious snowdrop. So that's one snowdrop. And then I also bought another one, this one with this beautiful coloring. And it's called Modern Art. So he came and, um, and I planted it next to this beautiful hellebore as well. That's middle is just gorgeous, isn't it? And then I got another one. So there's three new varieties here. And this one is beautiful with its very, very fat petals. And this one is called Marjorie Brown. Now, people will say I'm a galanchophile now, but maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I just love having large varieties of um, particular plants. Again, this is planted next to another of my hellebores, which is um, just beginning to come out, this particular one. Anyway, while he was here, I showed him my other snowdrops and my other hellebores. And this is when the story gets interesting. These hellebores, this one here with this wonderful purple um, tint, before it has its leaf, flower blossoms come out. And this one blossoms on its stem of leaves, if you can see that, versus this more cultivated kind, which you, you can see you prune the leaves off and then the flowers are exposed above um, where the, uh, the leaves will now grow back and you flush growth. Anyway, this hellebore with its purple, uh, I don't know, I'm not a plant biologist, so whatever this part of the bloom is called, you can see it blooms in a clutch. And then this hellebore here, which has the kind of the green on it here, these two hellebores were given to me by the man who got them from my grandfather, who got them when he was working in Serbo-Croatia teaching English. So there's these two varieties, this one here and that one over there. Now with these two varieties, the gentleman who came, I said that my grandfather was there teaching in the 1930s. He said that my grandfather probably was a, an, a, you know, a kind of early plant collector and he would have gathered these in from the wild and brought them back here to Ireland in the 1930s when he came home to visit his parents who were living here on the farm. And then he gave um, um, offshoots of this, he divided it and gave some to this gentleman who lives across the river from us. You can see the difference. That would be this hellebore and then these are the cultivators which are smaller varieties. And so my grandfather collected these two, probably from in the wild. Now, I've subsequently divided these and put them around the garden uh, in different locations. So we have a variety of them. But he also told me about particular snowdrops, which is very interesting to me. Now I brought the snowdrop man up here to our wood where you can see there's snowdrops all over the place. These have been planted here since I never planted any of these uh, and they're self-sown and everything. Anyway, he said, we have two varieties here. This smaller short-leafed one is from Serbo Serbia and is known as the Serbia snowdrop. So here's more of the Serbian snowdrop. These bigger ones, you can see the leaves are bigger and taller. These are Russian ones. Now my grandfather 
taught English in Serbia and he taught in Ru and lived in Russia. So we have these two varieties that he might well have brought home in the 1930s before he inherited the farm as gifts to his parents. Here you can see one is kind of slightly hybridizing to one that I'll show you in a minute, another one that has kind of all the petticoats, but you can see that's a little bit different. But these are the, so these are the Serbian ones, the small little leaves, and these taller leaves are the Russian ones. So I'm figuring out some plant histories here on the farm, which is very interesting to me. So these were the days when you could, you people would dig plants up in the wild and bring them home and plant them on their own farms. So I think my grandfather brought these as presents to his mother and father and planted them here uh, before even potentially my mother was even born. So these are, so we have Serbia and Russia and a hybridized one between the two. I'll show, I'll, I'll do a little video of that one as well. Now, before the snowdrop man arrived, I discovered this snowdrop here in our wood. And it's beautiful with its petticoats and it's these sticking out. It's gorgeous. You can see from the top how it's quite different. Anyway, I asked him what kind this was and he said it's a hybridization one that isn't a particular species of its own. So there will be variety of this all across the farm, but it comes from the crossbreeding of the Russian, tall Russian one, and the Serbo-Croatian one, which is very interesting. So this is a hybridized one here on the farm. Here are loads of the Russian ones. These are the tall, elegant snowdrops. They really do look beautiful. Uh, I've got to start dividing these up and spreading them out so they're even further in to the woodland. So it makes it so beautiful down here. So I'm gonna do more separating. Every year we've been separating snowdrops, but in different areas, not here in this particular woodland.